All right, so I got the coolant drained out. I got a little over two gallons out of it, and the spec is like two, I forget, two and a quarter. I think it's 8.5 liters, liter cola. Anyway, uh, so now I'm just testing <clears throat> to make sure the system can hold the vacuum before I get all the uh, bucket this crap out. But uh, this thing is really cool. You just hook up your airline, you shove the, uh, the bottom ceiling cone into the reservoir like so. And since it's going to pull a vacuum, it'll kind of hold itself in. But check this out. Um, oh, one other thing to check out. Hang on. All right, so first let's just demonstrate a vacuum here. And you can see it's holding it. The really cool thing is, uh, if I can, I guess the vacuum's holding it at this point. The lower radiator hose is actually collapsed. Now, if I uh, if I release the vacuum, watch this. Come on, you. Oh my God! Always with the focusing. There we go. Watch this. So that's awesome. So I think the process here is it's obviously very simple. What I'm going to do is draw a nice vacuum on the system. Um, I don't know if it's as high as I can get it. I don't know if that damages anything. I mean, this is like an official way to do this. Draw a vacuum on it. No. What I need to do first is prime this hose. So I need to make a bucket up of coolant, um, my two plus gallons. So I guess I'll put like, I don't know, two and a half in it just so there's enough suction for this thing. Um, could even put my, the whole three in it that I have and then just pour it back in the container. I want to prime this hose, so I guess to do that, I need to do it um, not not in the car. So I feel like, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that would work. If I put my finger on the bottom of the, uh, of the, what is with the focus on this thing? If I put my finger on the bottom and draw a vacuum and let go of it, will it suck coolant up the hose? I just want to prime the hose so I don't inject a, a slug of air, which just diminishes the uh the suction of the vacuum as the coolant goes back into the system i think it's recommended i suppose maybe i don't have to do that but i'm gonna do it so uh, i need to make up a, a bucket full of coolant see if i can prime that hose and then let her let her eat um right so once the hose is primed uh the process is you need to um pull a vacuum so you open that valve you get your vacuum you shut the vacuum off, it's holding a vacuum, then you open up the, the filler, which the vacuum will then suck uh, in. So yeah, I don't know how to prime that hose. I'll have to fool around with that, and uh, if I give up, then I give up, but that's it. And then it'll just suck in as much coolant as it needs, and uh, end up apparently really close to the correct level. And then of course you adjust the reservoir um, level to, uh, to get it perfect. So yeah, really cool. All right, so they want you to put the bucket at kind of roughly the height of the reservoir, so that's pretty perfect. The way the car is up on the quick jack, it kind of makes it perfect. I mean, the level is like pretty much right there. So yeah, there's my precarious bucket of coolant, two and a half gallons of the G48. Uh, I think this car, I'm not sure if it had the yellow stuff. It may have. Oops. Uh, so this is what I'm putting in claims all the things uh, including that um, I was gonna do geo 5 and maybe I should have which is pretty much always good to go as long as you flush out whatever's in there um, I don't know so I'm switching to the blue stuff the, the coolant that came out was like <sighs> kind of green so I did top off a g48 so I'm thinking uh, Maybe it was all Geo 5, and I mixed it and made green. I don't know. Well, it's going to have the blue stuff now. could always do this again in a year um, just to get any remaining mix out of it. Okay, so I think the first thing I said I wanted to do was prime it. So let's see how well I can do that. 
at my airline here. There we go. Okay. Um, so, man, I need something to tie onto this so it stays down in the bucket. I don't know what I have for that. I might end up having to just sort of hold it down there, especially when it gets toward the end. Of course, the more I get in here, the less it matters if I suck a little air at the end. Uh, I, I would think, as long as the reservoir itself isn't running dry. Once the reservoir starts getting fluid in, I think I'll be okay, because that would suggest that the fluid has gotten everywhere else already. But let's, uh, oh, you know what I can do? I can, uh, I can just, um, oh, okay, I think I get it. So if I just put this in there, man, I don't know how I'm going to keep that on the bottom like that. Oh, I know. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Did you guess yet? It's our pal Irwin. We're going to use Irwin to hold the uh, hose on the bucket or something. Let's see what I can do here. I want this thing at the bottom. Kind of like that. What can we do with that? I mean, like, obviously, I don't want to squeeze it too much. Is that like gonna work? I don't know, maybe. All right, let's prime it first. Okay, well, you can't see the gauge in your rust. Let's see, how's that? That should be enough to prime. Let's just suck a little bit of coolant in. These are, oh yeah. Nice. So, coolant's primed. We're gonna draw our vacuum. It's kinda loud. I have to admit, that's loud. I think they don't really want any more vacuum than that. I think they said 0.6 to 0.4. Um, it's clearly holding. <clears throat> so all I have to do, I just want to make sure this is like focused. So all I have to do is open this suction valve. It should dump coolant right into the system. Let's see what happens. And it'll draw the vacuum down. Oh yeah, look at that sucking the uh, sucking the tank down. I have too many things I need to hold here. Let me see if I can do this. Why is this satisfying? Yeah, the bucket's just going down. Wow, boy, is this the professional way to do this or what? Yeah, the beauty is the amount of vacuum should uh, automatically suck the correct amount of coolant, I think. Just making sure the suction's at the bottom like I want it. And they say you don't, you don't need to do more, uh, more vacuum afterwards although i don't think quite as much coolant as i expected to go in went in um, a lot of it did a lot of it did but i might draw more vacuum and try again um, the other thing i could do is just simply look at it inside here let me close this off we have coolant in the reservoir yet uh, i don't think so is that full I don't think it's full. Well, I don't think there's any harm in trying to pull a vacuum. It'll try to pull slugs of air through and 
maybe suck coolant out with it. So this could be a little messy, but let's let's try it and see what happens. If it sprays coolant everywhere, then forget it. But a little bit. Okay, not bad. Oh, jeez. My uh, circuit breaker tripped my air compressor. Okay, stand by. All right. We got minus 10 PSI, so make sure the suction to the bottom. Pretty, pretty well. Let's try that. Maybe just wanted a deeper vacuum. I really don't know. Pretty good. I bet we are close to the right level at this point. We'll close that. Now let's check the reservoir. Are we have coolant in the reservoir now. We we do. Wow. So I think all I need to do is just top it off to the little indicator, and we'll be done. Uh, that's crazy. I guess, I guess I'll do that. Other than draining it, this would be the messiest part of the job, I suppose. Oh, can I get it to dump the coolant that's in? Let's see if I can get greedy here and save, save what's in here. Let's go. Gravity? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, gravity still applies, baby. Let me see if I can just empty this hose out all the way. Uh, yes, indeed. Wow. That was like the most satisfying thing ever. Now, put this aside or somewhere, right there. This part is uh, kind of not rocket science. None of this really is rocket science, but I gotta dump a little bit of coolant in. I can't see anything. Yeah. Headlight for myself. Like a good one. All right, now I can see what we're doing. Okay. I believe that is it. I think we put exactly back what we took out too. Pretty sure. Um, so if the instructions are correct, and by the way, here are those. Little uh, Star Wars kind of, now you gotta scroll like this I guess, but yeah, so that tells you to do what I did, which I, and I did. And on the back there's, uh, so I'm just kind of, what does it come with? I got this from FCP Euro. It was, uh, I don't know, 90 bucks? Well worth it. I mean, you could use this on any car, but I guess some of the German cars are a pain to, to bleed. I know my E55 has the uh, separate, well, the somewhat separate uh, intercooler circuit. I don't think that's that hard to bleed, but the vacuum thing should make it easier, plus the whole heater core thing. And I did just do the heater control valve this guy in here. Ugh. Is that? Do I have that? Is that right? Where is it? There? Yeah, that thing in there. I did the heater control valve. I just really, as a preemptive, because um, it seemed like I was going to do the coolant anyway, uh, and I have to bleed it. So, uh, by the way, the correct level is up to that support. It's not really a rib, it's just a little indicator. That's the cold fill level on these cars. So I don't know where that comes to on the side, but uh, okay. So hopefully I don't have any air in it. I guess if I did, I would have to um, drain. What would I do? If I had air in it, what would I do at this point? Would I drain some of the coolant out, put a larger vacuum on it, like higher than the pressure that I had there, 
and refill it, hoping that it would have sucked the air out. Mm, that could work. I uh, don't know. Uh, hopefully that this process actually works. I mean, it's not a perfect vacuum, so I guess I'm not understanding how... how... I better not question it. Anyway, uh, I'll report back.